genuinely can't believe Grant Horvath let this happen. One of the more shocking but exciting moments in YouTube history, in YouTube golf history has gone down and we are going to chat all about it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Nate Bucky's is here to stay. We're rocking the new good, good bucket hat with, I think this is like for your tees or something. You put a little, this got a little pocket up here. So I'm anyway, gonna check it out, shopgoodgoodgolf.com. Quick little, quick little promo before we start today's video. Let's hop right over to it. YouTube golf news, if you want the title thumbnail, there it is right there, click that timestamp. It'll take you right to it. But there's a couple things we need to discuss because number one, we have the open going on this week, the British, and obviously Rick Shields doing his annual playing Royal Troon, playing the golf course before. So we have James Robinson break 70, we have Rick break 75, we have Guy break 80. This is obviously going to be a video where they're playing 18 holes at the venue. I really appreciate these and I think one thing Rick will always be the guy at is just like the more like professional side of YouTube golf. Like he's going, he's the biggest, he's going to have the most access. I mean, Grant's getting pretty close and we'll probably start having similar, if not, equal access soon, but at least on the UK side of things, Rick's the guy. He's the one who's going to play the open beforehand. He's getting it, you know, a week or two before the course is gonna be used by the players. So he's seeing exactly what everything's gonna look like and we get to tune in for that. He's the one who's getting the newest clubs and reviewing them. So we get to see them. Like Rick has this just like OG aura that's always going to be around him, which is very, very exciting for me. And so I wanna sit down, hour 44, absolutely check this out sometime in the next three days before round one on Thursday. So obviously just a quick heads up that this video is out here. The dude's just being who he is. Anyways, let's jump over Brian Rose, another one we wanna cover really quick. George Bryan Q School announcement. Now this isn't really the announcement, he's talked about this before, but this is like his official video announcement that he signed up for PGA Tour slash Corn Ferry Tour Q School. One thing I think is interesting, I don't think he went to uh, the Americas Q School like Ben Hatton did. So for PGA Tour Canada, PGA Tour Latin America, I'm not gonna claim to be an expert and know exactly how all this works, but I'm surprised he wouldn't have tried to do that. Now maybe to him, the amount of travel that would be involved in that is just not worth it with the channel and the family, he doesn't really need to do it. But if he got on the Corn Ferry with some sort of status or especially on the PGA Tour, some sort of status, then it would be worth it and worth his time. So maybe that's why, because I got a couple questions of like, Nate, why doesn't he just do like what Ben did in the Latin America PGA Tour Canada Q School? I'm assuming that's that's probably why, that's my guess. But go check this out, he's playing Aiken Golf Club. He's playing nine holes there. Good video, I watched a little bit of it this morning. But what just pulled, and I feel bad, because he they up, Brian Rose uploaded this two hours ago. Rick uploaded his video an hour ago. You guys are human beings. You're human beings with jobs and things to do and families and friends and you know golf to play. And you just have like three and a half hours of YouTube golf content thrown at your face on a Monday, all of which you can't miss. What we just talked about, Rick with the Royal Shoot, George with the Q School announcement, and now this absolute been waiting on pins and needles. I commented on the Instagram a couple days ago being like, there's no way this is real life. Like this, what are you actually doing, Grant Horvath? He announced that he was playing a match against Phil Mickelson. That's right, you can see right here, Phil Mickelson, Grant Horvath, uploaded 41 minutes ago. All right, 19,000 views, and that's not real time in 41 minutes. I'm betting this video probably is close to like 50,000 views in 41 minutes. Phil Mickelson versus Grant Horvath, which really is like the initial entrance. And something happens in this video that we're gonna discuss. So. Just Stay tuned, I'm not gonna ruin anything for you. Don't worry, no spoilers, but there's something I wanna talk about. Anyways, this really feels like Phil Mickelson's kind of like entrance into the YouTube golf space because yes, I know he's played with Bryson. I know he kind of has his own channel now, which is interestingly enough, at the beginning of this video, I'm not spoiling it, and Grant opens it up by saying, the front nine's going to be on my channel and the back nine is going to be on Phil's. The most YouTube golf sentence that can ever come out of someone's mouth, my channel, front nine, their channel back nine. That's like the most like Micah and Grant and Micah and Garrett playing four years ago sentence of all time. OG YouTube golf sentence. And it's just involving Phil Mickelson. So it's crazy. It's crazy to see also too, the access Grant's getting to all these lift players. Obviously he's done his five stroke match. Now with Phil, he's done it with John Rong. He's done it with Bryson. He's done it with Sergio Garcia. So, I mean, PGA Tour just, I mean, I know they don't have the same type of like free time as the live players and the tour i don't think has really any control over the players whereas live maybe the teams they can get incentivized the players to be like hey you should go do this but nonetheless i mean pga tour pga tour players like put it on your back we need more of you in this because live is just like taking over the youtube golf world but anyways this is 
This is insanity. This is insanity. It's the entrance of him with a creator, with a true, and again, Bryson's kind of a true creator now, but he also hasn't uploaded in like two months, so he's definitely still mainly a professional golfer. Anyways, this is like his true entrance into like the real like OG YouTube golf world. The fact that Grant got it, it's not surprising, but it's incredible. It's incredible. So anyways, he, I clicked on this video this morning. As you can see right here, I'm 17 minutes, four, three seconds in. Now, the reason why I don't watch the whole thing every time is because I don't need you, because I'm not, I don't want to ruin it for you. And if I have more information, sometimes I ruin it. So I wanted to just get a taste. I want to watch the intro. I was planning on watching this video for like 90 seconds, just skimming through it, just getting some key points so I can chat about it with you guys. And I'm not exaggerating you. This felt like 90 seconds, 90 seconds. I'm 17 minutes and 43 seconds in. That is the biggest compliment I could ever give to a YouTuber who made a YouTube video. I felt like I watched their video for 90 seconds and I almost watched it for 20 minutes. That's how interesting it is. That's how enthralled I was. That's how much the personality of Phil shone through the banter, the this, that, and the other. I'm one hole into this match. 20 minutes in and I am enthralled. Usually I'm complaining about YouTube golf videos being too long. Nine whole video is an hour long. Ugh. This is, I am just, I can't, I don't, I didn't even want to come talk to you this morning because I wanted to just keep watching this YouTube video. So I'm doing my job. Anyways, so this video, 17 minutes, 43 seconds, it's just unbelievable. Twist turns already. Now we don't have the exact stats on this one quite yet, but obviously I think this is gonna be a one to 10, no problem at all. Garrett's been killing it. Six million views in the last 28 days, up almost a million. He's gained 41,000 subscribers. He's passed the 700K mark. He's just killing it. He's absolutely killing it. He is the YouTube golf guy right now. He has been for a while. And I think the cool part about Grant is that like, again, he's just really making content when he has good content. Like we have gaps in between. It's basically a week since it's John Daly, which was about a week since the nine-year-old, which is absolutely killing it. By the way, this video is doing incredible, which was, you know, a week and a week and a week. He's, he's putting out very good quality content. He's not forcing anything. So I love that from him. Guys, you got to go check out this video. I cannot believe there's, there, there, there's a twist. There's a twist at, and I'm not, I'm not gonna ruin it for you. Let me just find the timestamp for you, the exact timestamp. It is it is right here, 14 minute, 14 minute mark. The 14 minute mark, something happens that I can't believe in, you know, five to six years of Grand Horvath on YouTube Golf that he allowed to happen. One of the biggest twists, one of the most hilarious moments I've ever seen in a YouTube Golf video. This is just pure. This video is pure for me. I'm, I'm overexcited about it, I get it. I almost like this video is all it's, it's like what are you even talking about Nate it's just a lot of excitement I'm the YouTube golf guy and when things like this happen I get overexcited and I'm gonna make a video about it because I'm overexcited and I know you guys are you should be overexcited and if you're not I'm gonna just force your faces to go click on this video right now and watch it because it is one of the greatest YouTube golf videos ever and it's 17 minutes in for me so anyway I'm gonna stop talking right now because I want to get back to watching this so I gotta edit this I gotta put it out to you guys and then I'm just like I'm watching this this is what I'm doing today I'll see you guys later